Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. You know, it's gonna be a great day when the coffee turns out amazing. So I'm gonna drink this before I head to the gym this morning. And also I'm gonna make myself a little to-do list actually, because I feel like I have a lot of random stuff that I need to get done today. And also I have a package coming today from Princess Polly. So I'm very excited because I recently picked out a bunch of new clothes for the summertime. And I want to show you guys all the stuff I got. I've been so into like dresses and skirts, especially this summer, just because obviously they're so easy and they make you look incredibly put together. Um, also, I feel like I just have revamped kind of my style and closet a little bit because last summer I was in basically loungewear the entire summer because there was nothing to do. But this summer is like a whole new ball game. So I'm very excited to show you guys those clothes later. And then the big thing we're doing today, which I'm so freaking scared for, but kind of excited, is I'm getting a bikini wax today at 3.15. So that'll be interesting. Stay tuned for that. But I'm gonna finish drinking my coffee and then we will head to the gym. I just finished getting ready for the day and I wanted to show you guys my little outfit because my Princess Polly package came and I tried on all the pieces and I'm loving everything so I'll show you guys all of that stuff in just a second but I wanted to share my little outfit of the day so of course everything is from Princess Polly this top is a beautiful halter top I love like the tie at the front and then the ruching in the middle it just adds a little bit of detail to it and then these pants these are like such a moment. I love them. They're a little bit cropped. I don't know if they're meant to be cropped, but I do have longer legs, so keep that in mind. But they're like a terry cloth material, and they're this chocolate brown color. I'm super into the color brown. It's actually part of a matching set, so when I show you guys the Princess Polly haul in a second, you'll see the matching top that goes with it. Um, but I think that would be perfect for like a going out type of thing. But today, obviously, since we're just like running errands, I put on this halter top. So yeah, super cute fit, I love it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a haul, so I'm gonna grab everything and then we'll do a little try on. 
I have a bunch of Princess Polly pieces right here to show you guys and I'm so excited because Princess Polly is actually sponsoring today's video and I have a discount code for you guys. I'm always being asked by like my friends and you guys if I have a code for Princess Polly and I do this time so you can use code LaurenX20 for 20% off your order. And also something that's super nice is Princess Polly offers afterpay and shop pay for all US customers. And because everything ships from within the US, if you're a US customer and you spend $50 or more, you get free express shipping. So your order can come very quickly, which I definitely love. I'm gonna hop in and show you guys all of the cute new pieces I picked up. So I guess we'll kick it off with a dress because you guys know I love my dresses, especially for the summertime because it's the most easy, quick, go-to outfit and they're so comfortable. So the first thing I got is this dress. This is the Avery Mini dress in the sage color i love the light green look of it it's so cute and it's a halter and it just ruches all the way down the middle and you tie it this is such a flattering dress on the body i think it's so cute and you can totally dress it up wear it for a night out or anything like that another dress i got is actually a brown one of course we know i love my chocolate brown colors right now so this is the cora mini dress i love this one because it's like a high neck and then it has an open back so it's very flattering and of course you already know it has all of the ruching on it i have a vision for this if i had white cowboy boots which i know princess polly has and i've been eyeing them up but they don't have my size right now but once they have my size in stock i want them so badly to pair with this dress because that would be like the most fun cute outfit ever I love this and pairing it again with like some gold jewelry and just really dressing it up like that can obviously make your outfit look a lot more elevated. And then going along with the brown colored trend, I got this little mini skirt. I feel like I always need more mini skirts. I always have like body suits and I want to wear a skirt with them. So I wanted to pick up some little skirts. This one's just a lightweight knit material. And then I picked up this black little tank top, which actually could totally match this skirt. It could be a little set, but they weren't um, paired together on the website, but I definitely think you could get away with wearing these two together. It ruches, of course, again, in the middle. Just a super cute top. I love how it's, again, a higher neck and it has like a little bit of thicker straps and it's just cropped. Perfect, simple black top that you can literally wear with like anything. And then I got a basic little green top right here. I love the color green. This is definitely a little more like emerald green, but I think with brown, it would look really cute. It would probably look like you're from Scooby-Doo. I tried wearing with the brown pants that I'm wearing today and it did look like I was a character from Scooby-Doo, but with like denim jeans and a fun gold belt, this top would be perfect for that. And then the top that's supposed to match the pants I'm wearing right now, I got this outfit in a size four, which I definitely recommend sizing up for this outfit just because the material is terry cloth. So it's a little bit more structured, like it doesn't have much stretch to it. It's hard to show you guys just holding it up. So you'll see on in the try on, but it's just kind of like a bandeau top. Again, this one does show a little bit more of like your stomach and everything. So I think it'd be cute for like a beach or definitely something you'd wear if you lived in like Miami or something. But I live in Minnesota, so I don't know. But I just think this outfit is so freaking cute. And then to go along with this top that I'm wearing right now, because it's part of a matching set. So this skirt looks like this. It's just a midi skirt, which I actually don't own a midi skirt, I don't think. Maybe one, but this one is just so pretty. I feel like a white skirt is always a basic essential in a closet. So I'm excited to wear this set together. Definitely with like some fun shoes. It would totally make a cute outfit. And then another set I got is just like a plain black set. It has these ribbed pants, which are so gorgeous on. It's just like, I don't know, kind of shaped in a little bit of a V right here. So it's super cute. They're high-waisted, which I need. I love high-waisted pants so much. And then the top is another halter top. It basically looks like this. I think it's identical to the white one I'm wearing right now. Then the last two pieces I got are both orange colored because we all know orange is another one of my favorite colors right now for fashion so this is just a basic top and you can honestly adjust it however you want because there's little ties on the side so you can wear it cropped or you could wear it like full length anything like that and then this last orange top i got is like a halter 
neck and it's kind of like a plunge what do you call it a plunge tank because it goes all the way down and it has the feeling of a bikini top so you could probably get away with wearing this on like a boat or something and then the last thing I got for this haul is just a plain old white headband I really am into these thicker headbands so I wanted to pick this one up and I don't have a white one and I know white's dangerous because like makeup and everything but you can just like easily wash it so I love it so yeah that's my little princess poly haul for you guys I will have links to all the pieces down below definitely check them out and again you can use my code laurenx20 for 20% off your princess poly order but I just wanted to quickly show you guys all those clothes but now we can get our day started I do have to get some work stuff done right now up work for the day all of the stuff is done that I wanted to kind of complete this week so happy weekend I'm excited it is actually gorgeous out today literally there's not a single cloud in the sky so I'm just loving the weather I want to be outside on like a patio or something but I just went grocery shopping so I literally do not need to go out to eat um, but I'm in route right now to go get my bikini wax I'm so nervous but I know it's not that bad. Like, I think I'm creating a whole idea of pain in my head. And I know it's gonna hurt, but it'll be like five seconds of pain afterwards or like a minute of pain realistically after. So the good thing is, is it's not like long lasting pain. It's just a little bit, um, but I'm excited. I hear that if you keep up with this, like correct me if I'm wrong, but supposedly if you keep up with bikini waxing and probably within a year, all of your hair follicles will like grow back very slowly so you can do it enough times to eventually where your hair hardly grows back and that would be amazing so beauty is pain i'm willing to suffer the pain if it means i don't have to freaking shave and i'll keep you guys updated with the pain how it goes the experience all of that i'm going to european wax center i've gotten my eyebrows done there and stuff before so I'm trusting that it should be fine. We made it out alive, you guys, and honestly, it was not that bad. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty painful, but like, it got tolerable, and it was painful for actually three seconds every single time, so yeah. If you've been thinking about it, I definitely recommend doing it because it is totally worth it, she said, because your hair follicles grow back a lot less dense and then basically over time they'll be so much lighter and she said you'll never want to go back to shaving so I'm excited about that I booked my other appointment four weeks out so clearly it didn't scare me away enough so that's good but I'm gonna head back to my apartment now don't really know what I have planned today it's Friday and it's gorgeous outside but I probably am just gonna chill at home I just got home a little bit ago and I'm gonna make myself little green protein smoothie because that sounds really good right now. I've been super into making green smoothies in like the middle of the day for a little pick-me-up. This one I'm just kind of eyeballing slash throwing random ingredients in here. So far I have half a banana, frozen mixed berries, arugula, throw some kale in there. Woo, a little messy.
it's not the prettiest color, but we'll give it a try. Like I said, I never usually make like chocolate little shakes. Okay, it's not too bad, but I think I'm gonna stick with making like vanilla protein shakes because I feel like vanilla is just much more sweeter and I don't know, probably pairs better with like fruit and stuff. But I'm gonna drink this and probably go outside. Honestly, I think my roommates are like in the courtyard and just go chill because it's kind of still sunny out. Yeah, it's actually really sunny out there, so. Cheers. Happy weekend. Tonight's dinner is a little inspo from Pinterest. So I just put everything on top of a bed of kale and I did some sweet potato and mushroom. Just like popped it in the air fryer for 15 minutes. Half of an avocado, a fried egg, and then just some jasmine rice. I actually made this last night. So it was great to have some like leftovers and I'm just gonna mix it all together. So that's a little setup. So I just finished up my skincare routine. I'm crawling into bed right now. It's like 9.15 and it's a Friday night and I'm going to bed. Well, not like going to sleep, just crawling into bed. I'm actually gonna read a book. I know, surprise, surprise. I've been reading at night lately just because it keeps me off my phone. And truthfully, it keeps me from online shopping because I feel like every store right now is having a sale. And in the depths of the night, I just start to add random shit to my cart. We're gonna stop myself from like spending money every single night before I go to bed. So I've really gotten into reading. Like I said, it just distracts me from like everything and it gets me off my phone. So I'm not scrolling on TikTok either because that's been a bad habit. I've been like on TikTok until 1 a.m. way too often lately. So I started incorporating reading more often and it's been so nice. Yeah. Don't do it every night, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna have a rejuvenating Friday night. I love having these kind of like self-care nights where I just chill and relax. I'm going to end off the vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.